The goal of this uh, talk is to emphasize the sanctity of work, to encourage businessmen and professionals to trust only in the Lord for the fruits of their labor and to understand their vision in the marketplace. As introduction, our lives as Christians have to be totally integrated not just in church and in our families, but as well as in our workplace. We spend an enormous amount of time at work, and at work, we are especially called to be vigilant, because this is where our faith in God will be severely tested. If you were, before going further to this topic, let us have the meaning first of the word Christian and marketplace as well in order to easily or fully comprehend of what I am going to impart to you. What is a Christian? Yung nag, uh, ano ko, talagang kumano yung aking, uh, pan, eh, sipon. So, sorry about that. <laughs> so, what is a Christian? A Christian is one who professes belief in the teaching of Jesus Christ. This also a Christian means knowing the true Christ and following him in truth. So that is a Christian. And uh, what is a marketplace? An alternative term for marketplace is uh, also based in a trademark law context to denote the actual consumer environment that is the real world in which products and services are provided and consumed. An example of which is uh, uh, many is uh, using this, the Facebook. Facebook is a social utility that connects people with friends and others who work, study, and live around them. So with this, uh, we have a parable of the seed, uh, and uh, I would like to read it. Those sown among dorms are another class. They have listened to the word, but anxieties over life's demands and the desire for wealth and cravings of other sorts come to choke it of it bears no year. This means that uh, if uh, someone would be, uh, you know, uh, feeling anxiety over uh, his uh, life, demands and desire for wealth, uh, this is uh, a sort of, uh, shall we say, uh, bothered uh, person, not uh, concentrated on the uh, uh, Lord's uh, practices, the righteousness that we are going to, to follow. So, you know, uh, a person is uh, parabang hindi mapalagay, kumbaga. Dahil uh, yung earthly uh, desire is uh, in there. 
that is uh, taken in Mark 4, 18, verse uh, 18 to 19. The next is uh, the situation in the marketplace. In the situation of the marketplace, uh, we will encounter that money is king. You know, in uh, in the word money, you know, it is king is uh, sort of uh, making use money as your king, not the, uh, the real thing of uh, being a, a Christian people. He, he considered money is over and above his life as a Christian. So it's very dangerous that uh, you always consider money is your king, not uh, the Lord, your provider and your creator. Further, the situation in the marketplace Jesus said to his disciples, I assure you only, with difficulty will a rich man enter to the, into the kingdom of God. I repeat what I said. It is easier for a camel to pass through a needle's eye than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. When the disciples hear this, they were completely overwhelmed and exclaimed, Then who can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For man it is impossible, but for God all things are possible. This is taken in Matthew 19, verse 23 to 26. With this, if you further uh, dissect uh, the word or the, uh, the verse, it is really a uh, understood that God is our Savior and that everything is possible to Him. God's plan for us in the marketplace. Do not conform yourselves to this age, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, so that you may judge what is God's will, what is good, pleasing, and perfect. That is taken in Romans 12, verse 2. So you could see the attitude of uh, the man is uh, uh, very, very uh, intensely uh, praying for the God's plan that uh, he is to undergo. Further, the God plans for us in the marketplace uh, is also, you are like light for the whole world. A city built on a hill cannot be hid. No one lights a lamp and puts it under a ball. Instead, he puts it on the long stand where it gives light for everyone in the house. In the same way, your light must shine before people so that they will see the good things you do and praise your Father in heaven. It's taken in Matthew 5, verse 14 to 16. The next is uh, the Christian attitude and response towards work. With this, uh, we have also uh, a verse that is taken in Genesis 2, verse 8 to 18. And the Lord planted a garden toward the east in Eden, and there he placed the man whom he had formed. Then the Lord took the man and put him into the garden of Eden 
to cultivate it and keep it. Genesis 2 verse 8 to 15. Further, the Christian attitude and response towards uh, work This is not a curse, but a gift. Let us not let us thank God for the dignity of work. So with this uh, we always thank God for our uh, daily uh, uh, substance and also our job, our work. Because this is a gift from God, our work. Further, the Christian attitude and response towards work. Uh, there's another verse uh, which is taken in Colossians 3, verse 23 to 24. Whatever you do, work at it with your whole being. Do it for the Lord rather than for man. It is the Lord's Christ. You are serving. Also, Father, we ought to pursue and protect the following values respect, integrity, compassion, humility, excellence, service. And trust in your riches. That is that we ought to pursue and protect these values. In all our undertakings, we have to uh, make use of all these values. You will not go wrong if you will follow these values. In all your work, in all your activities, and in all your undertakings, you have to undergo the watch your work. It's very easy. Just uh, remember the coin word riches. So it is respect, integrity, compassion, humility, excellence, service, and trust. Also, we bring Christ into the market praise, pray at work. Jesus says, if two or more of you agree together in prayer, there will I be in your midst. You know, there, there is an example of this. Uh, we had uh, a brother in, uh, in the Philippines, uh, the owner of the Mapicon, uh, John... Uh, uh, yeah, and uh, before they uh, start their work, they always uh, start uh, by uh, praying. As a matter of fact, uh, while all of those, uh, all of their uh, employees were uh, considered uh, a part of the of Mapicon because they let them uh, buy uh, sort of just like a stockholder. All of them, so that they will uh, love Mapicon, all the uh, all the uh, employees. And when they uh, start uh, working, they will go to all of them will go to a certain room. They will start uh, praying first before they go to work. That is uh, the president's room. The, uh, uh, their president, actually, the president of their uh, company is Jesus Christ. <laughs> they made him. Uh, both there and there. Uh, His name is Jesus yeah. Christ. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ is the president of the company. Oh. <laughs> yeah. He plays it there. Jesus Christ is the president of Mapico. Well, also, uh, the Christian's attitude towards wealth and money. What the scripture says about wealth and money?
scripture says uh, it is a gift and it's taken in Ecclesiastes uh, 5 verse 9 It says, uh, moreover, when God gives man's wealth and profession and positions and enables him to enjoy them, to accept his lot and be happy in his work, this is a gift of God. Ecclesiastes 5 verse 9. Further, the Christian's uh, attitudes towards uh, wealth and money, it is also considered or rather uh, classified, it can be a curse. And it's taken in Proverbs uh, 30 verse 8 to 9. Keep falsehood and lies far from me. Give me neither poverty nor riches, but give me only my daily bread. Otherwise, I may have too much and disown you and say, Who is the Lord? Or I may become poor and steal and so dishonor the name of God. So, the Christian attitude towards wealth and money could be a curse also. Whether you have it or not. Also, part of the attitude towards wealth and money, it can be also God, your God. So it can be your God. And in Matthew 6, verse 24, no man can serve two masters. He will either hate one and love the other or be attentive to one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. Yeah. So you have to, of course, uh, uh, select from one that you cannot both serve two masters at a time. Otherwise, magsialos yung isa. So, you need to select one. And uh, in Matthew 6, uh, you, sub, you should uh, select God. For uh, God uh, will not uh, give you, shall we say, headache or whatever uh, problems. He always give you good things. And then, uh, also, it can be the content. And in Timothy 6, verse 6 to 9, But godliness with contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into the world, and we can make nothing out of it. But if we have food and clothing, we will be content with that. People who want to get rich fall into temptation and a trap, and into many foolish and harmful desires that plunge men in ruin and destruction. So that is in 10 to 6, verse 6 to 9. And also, you should be thankful. With this, uh, in Deuteronomy, uh, Deuteronomy verse 8 and 10 to 18, as you could see in the bulletin board. But when you have eaten your fill, you must bless the Lord, your God, for the good country he has given you. Be careful not to forget the Lord, your God. Otherwise, you might say to yourself, it is my own power and the strength of my own had that has obtained for me this wealth. Remember then, it is the Lord your God who gives you the power to acquire wealth by fulfilling as he has now done 
the covenant which he swore to your fathers. Yeah, it is uh, our God who is giving us our food, our job, everything that we have. It came from our God, our Lord Jesus Christ. He is the owner of all our resources in this uh, universe. So, we should always uh, hang on to him and that he will uh, not, uh, uh, shall we say, uh, he is always there to guide you, to uh, give you good things in your day-to-day -day livelihood. Also, do not make it an end itself. Do not fall in love with it. Listen to me the times. In Timothy, 1 Timothy verse 6 to 10, the love of money is the root of all evil. Some men in their passion for it have strayed from the faith and have come to grief amid great pain. You see, in short, uh, money uh, as uh, in contrary to uh, the one that uh, before this uh, money is king, this time the love of money is the root of all evil. Kaya pag uh, you concentrate on uh, having uh, or amaze uh, lots of money, or uh, it is really uh, a problem for a person who will uh, try to amaze uh, lots of uh, money. Because uh, as uh, it says here in Timothy 6, uh, love of money is the root of all evil. Totoo yan, pagka yan ang ano mo, yung iba ay na, nagpapakamatay dahil lang sa pera. Diyan na, uh, yung iba, hindi uh, natin na, uh, what you call that, uh, we could not fathom their, uh, their, their hearts when uh, they have lots of money, you know. They forgot uh, the Lord. They do not even uh, look at you. Ay siya ay uh, mayaman na. Hindi na kwan. Hindi na tumingin sa kaliwa at sa kasakana. Lagi nakatingin sa taas at kala niya. Hindi niya narating sa panahon na mawawala rin siya. Just like I think there's a uh, a verse that uh, says uh, a man uh, who approaches uh, the Lord that uh, he said that uh, what will I do with my uh, my uh, whole uh, money or uh, my uh, precious uh, possession all my possession and he said uh, give it to your uh, wife to your friends, to your friends, and others. So, that's it. So that, uh, if you would like to go to, to, to heaven, you have to. Because it's not big at you. Because it's not big at you. That's it. Also, in. Uh, in a partner of uh, Christian attitude towards wealth and money, do not acquire it unjustly or dishonorably. Unjustly or dishonorably. Marami dyan, yung mga gustong mandaya. So, the, the, uh, the verse for this, or uh, the reading is in Psalm 23, and it says, The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. And also farther in Matthew 16, verse 28, What profit would a man show 
if he will gain the whole world and destroy himself in the process. That is a very uh, true uh, uh, reading taken in Matthew 6, 16. Just like uh, I remember when we are, uh, when we are opening uh, uh, Coast Guard Station in Cebu. I was there uh, before. Uh, we, we are the one who opened the uh, Coast Guard Station in Cebu. I, I, I was one of the pioneer. And uh, my, my commanding officers, uh, because I have only the EXO, we always uh, talk to our men, saying this, this verse. Because uh, as uh, uh, an individual, an individual uh, being uh, assigned with a sort of uh, Coast Guard station in Cebu before, and I know, there temptations. Yun. There are lots of temptations. They, they will, uh, <laughs> they will uh, come to you, and the others will come to you. So that is uh, what. Uh, Commanding officer always said to the our men, when they come to you, they would like to, you know, along with Filipino, mga red tapes, ginagawa pa nila yun. So, just to, just to at least uh, have a chance to, ano mga uh, coordination that uh, they would like, the, 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 you know, because Coast Guard Station is uh, something that, uh, Revenues are coming. So this is always the word that uh, we we emphasize to our men. Ano ang mangyayari sa iyo? Madami kang makukuha ng ano. Pero at the back of this, uh, hindi niya may sip na yung nag, uh, lumapit sa kanya, eh, letter on yun, sisira rin sa kanya yun. Yeah. In the process, uh, they will be destroyed. So that's it. That, that is a good uh, uh, reading that is uh, being uh, said to them. Father, uh, in this uh, wealth and money, focus your efforts on the things eternal. You cannot take your money with you when you die. Ito yun, that is right. No more. You cannot bring your uh, possessions. So in, in Matthew 6, verse 19 to 21, it says, Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where mood and rust destroy, and where thieves weaken and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven. Where wood and grass do not destroy, and where thieves do not break in and steal, for your treasure is there, your heart will be also. So, with this, uh, um, it's very clear that the uh, sabi nga ng iba yung si San Pedro laging uh, inaano kanyan pagdating po sa taas daw. Eh. Sabi niya, oh, ano ba nagawa mong mabuti sa ano? sa lupa. Dahil ngayon, nandito ka na. So, let us uh, account your uh, book. Tingnan niya ngayon yung libro niya kung uh, ano yung mga nagawa mo. Eh, siyempre, ikaklasify ka nga nga. Uh, are you going to uh, yung hell o doon sa kaliwa o kanan? So, kung yung kanan, yung magaganda yung mga Magandang lugar yun, eh, that is, uh, we are our soul. If you have uh, lots of treasures, then uh, you have a uh, store in heaven. So, in short, uh, it's it's better to do things good here before you... Wala tayong magagawa kung di kailangan gumawa tayo ng mabuti, so that at least when we go to... When you die, as uh, ito nga, you cannot take your money with you when you die. That's why you just give it to the poor who are in need of uh, all uh, 
your position so you can even help them. So also in uh, Matthew 5 verse 6 it says instead of yearning for material comforts we must hunger and thirst for righteousness. Very good uh, reading. You must hunger and thirst for righteousness and uh, everything will be added unto you. So with that, uh, brothers, uh, Timilis lang ang binigay sa akin, kaya medyo madali ko eh. So, with that uh, last slide, I would like also to share my personal experience in regards to uh, sort of, uh, you know, uh, having dealings with uh, uh, someone or your partners. Because someone, if you deal with, there should be always transparency and honesty. Yan ang a good uh, a virtue that you should follow. Transparency and honesty. As you have said, be honest. Be honest. Even if others are not. Even others will not. So, even if others are not. Sa Rotary, mayroon din sila pastor. It is fair, it is not fair to our concern. So, ganun din. So, transparency and honesty in dealing with uh, your partner. If your partner is uh, not a Christian, uh, that is, uh, you have to be uh, diligent and uh, see to it that uh, you should uh, follow the uh, the best dealing that you are. To end this talk, uh, my concluding note is that God has created us for a purpose. To love Him and to serve Him with all our hearts, minds, and souls. He has made it so that we spend most of our time in the marketplace. For the same thing, to love Him and to serve Him and glorify Him in the marketplace. Thank you and have a wonderful day.